Alex, this is your new frame that you're working on? Yeah, it's a new frame that I'm working on. The goal with this frame is to make a really durable, lightweight setup, which is similar to the CL1, but in this case, it's a toilet tank frame, so the battery mounts uh, sideways in the center, which brings the center of gravity a lot closer to the flight controller, which, in my opinion, makes tuning a lot easier and it makes the quad fly a lot better as well. Big shout out to the guys here in Portland, actually, because when I came last fall, I noticed everyone flew a toilet tank and I was trying to figure out why and they told me how they ejected less batteries, the drones just flew a lot better. So mm -hmm. I tried it myself and I would actually agree a lot with that. So have you flown toilet tank before, Drew? It's been a while. These are slightly different props, by the way. So, I mean, what's the effect of the toilet tank? You think it should be like kind of more of a neutral um, center mm -hmm. of gravity? Like, so... More balanced. Typically on a quad with like a long body, pitch and roll are gonna feel different because of the the moment of inertia is different. So on this, should I feel like it's more similar? So that's a roll, that's a flip. It does feel like mm -hmm. almost more like um, like a bottom mounted Truex race frame, but not quite. Like Without the pendulum. Yeah, without the, without the yeah. pendulum effect. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of like you get the advantages of that. Like you get that neutral balance without the disadvantages, yeah. i.e. Yeah. that. Well, I, when the balance is exactly the same on any axis, so it's not just roll and flip, it's if you combine them, right. even then you're still like feeling the same amount of like effort. Right, to, to okay, so movement. what's a good trippy spin tree, this one here? Ooh, this feels very good in the trippies. Doesn't right? it? Yeah. it? Ooh, screw because you. Because trippy is such a <laughs> weird movement. That like, feels it's not really just roll, good. It's not yep. just pitch. That feels really good. Shoot, I'm really liking this, uh, this 6S power too. I just want to go like, Woo! Where are you? <laughs> Bro, you almost just incinerated. You almost incinerated. No quad would have survived that head on. No quad would have survived that. You're gonna be so bad when you see what I just did. I, no, I saw it flying aside. I have an idea of what you did. One thing I've noticed with having the battery toilet tanked in the center is when I'm PID tuning the quad, I find that my pitch gains are a lot closer in numbers to my roll gains. Whereas with a normal quad with the battery just the normal way down the frame, I find that my pitch gains are a little bit higher because the drone's having to use you know, more work in order to move everything because there's so much more weight distributed on the pitch axis. Where with everything in the center, everything's more balanced. So because of that, the flight controller doesn't have to work as hard and therefore it can work better at other things like being fast and responsive. And so I think it plays to a lot of things. <laughs> it's like, I'm just killing it right now. Oh my God. I, mean, I don't know if I'm killing it, but I'm just like doing bonkers. Like what is happening? Oh yeah, this is Kiss Ultra, by the way. It feels so good. I love this park too. God. It's pretty nice. I love the way that quad sounds. It's so smooth. Even when, <laughs> even when you bottom it out really hard, there's no prop wash. And I will say- Oh, I can't believe there was no prop wash coming out of that ridiculous dive. It that, was it was stupid. Let that me. I will take credit for being my tune. <laughs> oh my god, this I, ah! <laughs> I just did this. I just oh, did some it's toilet hold on, get James in here, because this is not me. This is not necessarily the frame particular. <laughs> this is something that this is something that I've flown toilet tank before, but when I came back here last fall and hung out with you guys, I noticed everyone was flying toilet tank. And yeah. there's a reason for it, because it's just that balanced feel that you don't really get with the normal drone battery setup, right? Exactly, where it started for us is with the X-Hover Gap It frame. I think he was one of the first to really like popularize the toilet tank uh, LiPo. Non-toilet tank, you run the battery like this. There's a lot of energy required because there's so much weight on the pitch axis. The flight controller has to work really hard to keep up with that. With the battery in the center, it's the weight's a lot more uh, centered and it's evenly distributed. So therefore the flight controller doesn't have to work as hard and therefore it can perform a lot better which which means not only is the quad naturally flying better with the weight in the center, but also your flight controller is operating so much faster now. Mm -hmm. So then your stick response, everything, your prop wash handling is all going to get much better because of it. Those two barrels, like the, the mm -hmm. two pipes go power loop, the, the middle one, one, and then Matty back yep, through it, yep, and then just yep. like up, and then freaking, it's just, oh, it's so fun. And there's something about like the roundedness of the tubes, like when you go to loop back, you're like kind of rolling around 
the outside of the tube. It yeah. Just, it just feels the loop makes it feel natural, yeah. right? Yeah. Look at this. Oh my gosh, bro. Why did you go up so high? <laughs> why did you go so high? <laughs> yes! Oh, yes! 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the first time that I'm like oh. seeing success. So, <laughs> no, you're gonna leave me in I don't, forest. I'm just saying. So another thing that I really like about toilet tank is when you have your lipo sideways like this, is you don't need as much you know body to hold the lipo. So that means you can get really short body, and what that's going to do for you is provide a little bit of durability because the first point of impact is your arms rather than the front of your cage. So you're going to be less likely to hit the components that matter, things like your lens, your antennas. One of the things that I used to do all the time when I had a longer frame was since I go backwards a lot, I just smash into my antennas. But because I've got such a short body now, you know, there's so much buffer before these antennas that I almost never break antennas anymore. One thing I will say is this frame is more rigid than most of the other five inch frames out there. But I think that rigidity is what makes it fly so smooth and tune a lot better as well. Because mm -hmm. I can get more aggressive with the tune. I have some black box logs compared to uh, the frame I was using previously and this one and the same electronics and everything. The gyro day is just much cleaner on this one. Honestly, it just flies so good. I, I enjoyed I, flying it. Yeah. Your quad flew amazing. I think it has less to do with the toilet tank and more to do with Vanny's just a maniac about like tuning and squeezing out like every bit of juice out there. But uh, yeah. If you're watching this video now, you can go in and buy the frame. Link in the description down below. And I'm really excited to see you guys try toilet tank and also try the battery normal. And let me know which one you think flies better. I don't know that toilet tank strikes me as something that, oh my God, I gotta switch my stuff. Mm. It's something I, I'm not opposed to trying it more. But you know, there's also something to you know, flying what you're used to, right? I'm used to, I've been flying this for so long, right? I didn't immediately see such a huge benefit that it'd be worth getting used to something new. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, maybe if you're a pilot that is maybe easier to adapt things or enjoys trying things more, I'd say it's worth trying. It's, it's cool, it is different. Well, I would say that you, you did feel a difference, right? Yeah. Like, especially when you're trying the trippy mm -hmm. spins. Yeah, it ain't like, You can tell it was a little bit easier to get into, a little mm -hmm. bit easier to stay locked into, and I think that's because you're not fighting the difference between each axis. What do you guys think? Should batteries go this way or that way? You should go that way down <laughs> to the comment section. Let us know your thoughts while you're down there. Hit the like button. Let us know you had a great time. Hit the subscribe button because if you're not always if you're not already subscribed, what are you doing, guys? We're always making drone videos, always having a good time. We want you to be here for every single one. So, guys, I hope to see you next time. I'm Ladrib. I'm Alex Vanover. I'm PDFX. Keep ripping. I like the fat shark system, Christian. I like the fat shark system. <laughs>